Hi, I'm Pedro Pascal, and these are my essentials. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Essential number one, coffee. Give me my effing coffee form. I like it black, like my <laughs> airplane. I wouldn't say that I look for a particular roast. I would say strong roast, strong, dark, black roast in the morning, just in the morning. The next essential would be, I guess, this guy's deciding for me. Toil don't take my coffee away. Can the coffee stay? Sorry, thank you. Toiletries, attractive toiletries. Basically toothpaste, toothbrush, and deodorant. Sometimes there's a heat wave and you don't have AC and you gotta stay at a friend's house. And you hope that you can brush your teeth and at least put on deodorant uh, and get a black coffee. Book that looks weathered and torn and thick with little print so that people think you're smart, but you don't read the shit. <laughs> I am reading this. It's The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann. It's basically a 706 page book about uh, death. <laughs> All the guys I know, they like to read nonfiction. I like fiction. I think the truth is in fiction. My most important relationship, my iPad. My iPad goes with me everywhere. I will put scripts in here, watch something on Netflix. I will read articles in here, buy something on iTunes. I will text back when I can't find my phone because it's smaller than this and it's black and I can't find it and this is dinging while my phone somewhere is dinging and so then I have this and then I just deal with this. This saves the day. It's called Tilt to Live. If I tilt it towards your direction, then it'll kill me. Take this away because you, you mean nothing to me while I have my iPad. I don't need you. I need this. Glasses, my sunglasses, cause the sun hurts. And then <laughs> if I'm going to the theater or if I'm driving or if I want to know who I'm talking to, <laughs> seeing glasses. I have uh, lost one pair, so I have resorted back to a previous pair that has been chewed up by my dog. And I've had no choice but to go to the movies and drive with chewed up seeing glasses. Can you tell that they're, they've been chewed up? Yeah, they're, they're kind of chewed up. It's not a style choice, it's just unessential. These are salt, I really like salt. And these are Oliver Peebles. Yeah, the dog chewed my Oliver Peebles. Another essential for me are headphones. These are crappy ones, I have better ones. As far as headphones are concerned, I think is the obvious, is to tune people out, tune out the rest of the world. I went to go see 2001 A Space Odyssey this weekend at the Arclight, and this guy behind me was talking shit about The Shining. He clearly didn't understand the movie at all. Like, what are you even doing here? And so I put my headphones on to listen to music so I wouldn't turn around and tell him what the hell's wrong with you. They were great. This is a very corrupt environment. I mean, who doesn't want to just have a little Captain Crunch? What it means to me is what it means to everybody, is that it's delicious. And it crunches like that. And it doesn't taste like, what is this taste? Like a caramel, popcorn, childhood, butter, a mother's loving embrace, a German shepherd in the backyard. <laughs> what is this shit? This is an essential that I do not need today but I have needed in, in all days prior. This hat was given to me by a fellow actor friend on a previous movie. And basically what I'm dealing with is a haircut that has grown out from like maybe like a job that happened before, a job that's happening now. And so now I just have like the most unmanageable, embarrassing hair. I don't, I don't know how to make, I don't know how to do my hair and it covers my whole head and I don't have to think about what do I do with this like mullet mode lawn haircut thing that's happening right now. You put this on. Are we, was that, how many was that? That was seven. Really? Yeah. Another essential for me, which I do not have, 
<laughs> is my Cartier Santos watch. Would you mind drawing it in for me, please? Nope. No. There, that's better. Much, much. Now bling, 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 bling. What time is it? The obvious essential of my phone is so that I can, you know, do what I'm doing right now, like checking my email, checking the time, since I don't have my Santos Cartier watch on, taking a selfie. Oh my gosh. Ma can I have my hat, please? All right. And then one final, let's extra edition of essentials. I'm wearing them right now, actually. My Toms. They're very easy to put on. They're comfortable. It's not that bad. You know, when you go to the airport, I, I go through security a lot. And I really like shoes that come on and off, off and on, very, very quickly. It's like my biggest thing. Okay. Final essential, a clean pair of underwear. It doesn't have to be green. It doesn't have to be Hugo Boss, although I enjoy Hugo Boss. A clean pair of underwear, kind of hand in hand with the toiletries. You know what I mean? What do you like about Hugo Boss specifically? I would say that it keeps it all together. And, you know, it doesn't itch. I don't model them, really, but uh, you're gonna have to ask somebody else how they look. But I enjoy them, they're comfortable. They're comfortable, that was the easy answer. Number 10, clean underwear. Thanks guys for bearing with me and enduring these 10 essentials of um, Pedro Pascal, of mine. It's so gross when people say their name like that when I'm right here. <laughs>